Hey guys, it's your girl Tamia Levette. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. And if you guys are not, welcome back to my channel. And as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, that's why I clicked on this video. Today, we're going to be doing my makeup routine. Um, when I go out, I get a lot of questions asked about my makeup. And I know on TikTok, a lot of people ask me what I use on my eyebrows and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I use and also how I use it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you guys do, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, follow my social medias, which will be down in the description bar. And we're going to get right into this makeup routine because the first thing the well the second thing because i just put my hair up the second thing we're going to do is i go in with the revlon all day moisturizing cream and i just use this on my face before i apply makeup so my face will have something on it and so it won't be like y'all know dry because you don't put makeup on to a dry face honestly this really makes my face like not dry throughout the the day and like even if i'm not wearing makeup i still put it on my face because it's a moisturizer cream and it works really good and i'm almost running out and i have no idea it was a gift and um i have no idea where or who like where they got it from i'm gonna have to ask them but i really don't remember who got it for me i want to say it was my mom i really don't know but the first thing i'm gonna go for is my eyebrows i'm just gonna use this pencil i really don't know where it's from i think it's from walmart i ain't even gonna hold y'all I'm gonna use this eyebrow pencil though it's in the shade brown because my eyebrows are brown and not black and i'm gonna be using this mirror to do my eyebrows so and i really can't talk and do my eyebrows because i'll be concentrating so um i'm gonna do my eyebrows and i'm gonna like fast it up or whatever i don't know if it's just me or am i the only one that has one eyebrow that does never work like this eyebrow never works but this eyebrow always comes out good but this eyebrow i be struggling so hard with i don't know why but it's just like this eyebrow hates me or something next thing i'm gonna go is go in with my elf 16 hour camo concealer matte finish um to conceal my eyebrows um i don't know why but i came to the conclusion that eyebrows are always ugly until you clean them up because i used to do my makeup in the beginning and i used to be like yo this is so ugly and like before i even concealed them i would like take the makeup off but now i just conceal them and if they're still ugly after i conceal them then i just came to the conclusion that this like i just didn't do a good job some days my eyebrows don't come out good i don't know why but every time i've tried to film this my eyebrows came out horrible so i'm guessing it's just because like i don't know like when i'm not going nowhere my makeup comes out good but when i have plans to go somewhere it'd be trying to act funny and stuff like that and stuff like that makes me extremely mad but i just take it and i go over the top of my eyebrow and I don't like to put too much because I really hate that like white look. I don't know why. I don't know if I'm the only person that does, but I really hate that white look that the eyebrows give um, when you conceal them. Like some people keep it. Like some people be cute, but like I've just learned like some people can't do. You can't do the same thing other people do. And like some stuff looks really cute on one person, and it doesn't really look cute on you. So. And when I conceal the bottom lines, I don't take it all the way like I do my um, top part of it. I don't know why. It's just something that I do. And for some reason, I'm not putting a lot of product on. That's why if y'all realize in any video I've ever done, like the get ready with me, get ready with me and stuff like that. I do my eyebrows off camera because they seem to come out better when they're not on camera. I don't know. It's like, I don't know. But it just don't be wanting to work when it's on camera. So now that I'm done with my eyebrows, the next thing we're going to go in with is foundation and concealer. So I think I do this a lot different from everybody else. I use two different kinds of foundations and I mix them together. I use the All May Form 1. Well, I've had it so long, the thing is wiping off. And I also use the e.l.f. 
foundation i use these two and i mix them together to make my shade this is too light this is too dark so i mix them together and it makes a perfect shade for my skin because i'm like extremely light skin and I'm, I'm not mixed and a lot of people like kind of confuse me for that so when i went to go pick a shade this girl actually found me an exact shade of makeup um but I, I don't remember what it was. I think I have it in my notes somewhere. Me and my sister went. But it was literally my exact shade. I have to find that so I can stop mixing. But we just mix these two and I just put them on my back of my hand. And I don't put too much because I don't wear a lot of foundation. Really? And then we're going to take the end of... I use my little, um, I don't even know what kind of brush this is. Oh, this is actually a concealer brush. I use my concealer brush and I mix it in. Then after I mix it, I just put foundation up under my eyes. I put it up under both of my eyes. Then I put it on my chin right here. And my forehead. Then after I put that there, I go in with my concealer that I use for my eyebrows. And I put it on um, right beside on my like cheekbone area. And we blend. The brush I used to blend in the beginning is the... Is the small... The, the e.l.f. small stipple brush i use this to you know blend my foundation in with my um concealer and the reason i do it like this is because i love the like really bright look it gives um up under my eye i don't know why but that looks that looks really good to me so We're just gonna blend, blend, blend. And this only works for a little bit. After it doesn't really work too well, I go in with the Beauty Blender. Y'all, I have three Beauty Blenders. And I'm gonna go buy another one soon. I need to clean my brushes. Um, That's what I really need to do, is clean my brushes. But we're just gonna blend, blend, blend. And as you guys see, I actually took some and put it on top of my, um. I put some over top of my um eyelid because I want my eyelid, I want my whole face to look the same, basically. So then after I finish blending right here, I'm gonna take this brush again and I'm gonna go on to the other side and I make sure I like push my concealer to my um foundation. So it gives me that look, if it makes sense. blend with my beauty blender I take my ultimate blending brush and I just blend that it I just blend with this as well just to make sure that I have everything blended into my skin Now that I went in with my foundation and all that other stuff, we're gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana, um, the Tone Banana um, 
loose setting powder. We're gonna set my face with this powder. Um, I really do love this powder. I just got it. I just started using this one not too long ago. I was using a different one at first, but what I do is I just take it and I put it on my beauty blender and I go right up under the eye. And then I go on the chin and the forehead as well. Ooh. And as you guys see, I do this and I do my makeup in a row because I don't need this getting all over the place. So, yeah. So. Then I just go in with the opposite beauty blender I use to blend it all in. I don't know if you're supposed to blend this in with a beauty blender or not. Um, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I use my beauty blender and this because I feel like this one works really good as well in blending it. But I'm really all over the place when it comes to my makeup. And I change up how I do my makeup all the time. So. And I'm trying to decide. I've been trying to decide this whole time if I wanted to. Hold on, let me find it. I've been deciding this whole time if I wanted to go in with my NYX Professional Makeup Eye Pencil and use this color. This is the color. Or if I wanted to go in with the blue up under my eyes. Um, I think I'm going to go with the blue. This is blue, you guys. Um, yeah. We're going to use that for my eyes today because, yeah. Okay, so this part I have to get down here for because I really can't see my eye. So hopefully y'all can still see me. But I just go in and I um I just do my I outline the bottom of my eye. my windy shirt i lounge around in it because i don't work there anymore so i just wear it around the house but um now that i've outlined my eyes we're gonna go in with um eyeshadow i'm gonna use um these two colors today them two and I'm just gonna go in with my eyeshadow brush that my coworker got me for Christmas. Shout out to my girl, it's so cute. But we're just gonna go in with this one and I'm gonna use the browner color on my um, the lid or whatever. I honestly haven't mastered, honestly, I haven't even tried to master because I'm really scared. But the, um, um, like doing eyeshadow, Honestly, like the extraness, I want to get into that so I can start wearing it. But I be scared. Like when I say scared, I be so scared. Like I do want to learn, of course, because I want to start glamming out. But it really be hard. And I tried to. If y'all watched my video, I'm gonna put the link in the description bar of that video. But if y'all watched my get ready with me, um, my three hundred one get ready with me. Um, y'all know I tried to do a black, um, smoky eye and, um, it was ugly. Like, it was horrible. And 
nobody left me tips in the comments um i do want to actually start doing stuff like that but i just i don't know and i've watched youtube videos on there i'm gonna do a video of me trying to attempt to do a smoky eye i want to start doing more makeup videos honestly but um i've decided since like it's 2022 i kind of want to rebrand my youtube channel on the stuff i be doing like i like i used to do like get ready with me as i mean like last year i did get ready with some, get ready with me and like what's on my iphones and stuff like that and i want this to be more so of a i don't know i want like a older kind of channel type thing if that makes sense like a grown woman status like honestly like diera she's very okay who is somebody that like i really enjoy watching um that's just like really i don't know i'm gonna leave some names of the people channel i can't think of their names right now but i'm gonna leave some names of the people channels on the screen somewhere because i really do enjoy the way they just go about things so the next thing i'm going to be going in with is my super mascara waterproof ruby kisses all my makeup is dirty and it's just because it all just sits in the bag together so i love the way i have two different mascaras i also have the bold aqua i use both of them um honestly I feel like this eye has something against me because when I do my mascara this eye always like you can tell I put mascara on but this one just be looking stupid So next I'm going to go in with my second mascara. <clears throat> okay. Now that I've went in with mascara, I just got the Anastasia Glow Kit. Um, we're going to take this and we're going to do Where's my okay? And then I have a fan brush, and we're also, we're gonna take. I'm gonna use great use butterscotch. As you guys see, I use butterscotch the most. So we're gonna take it. Like, just look at that glow. I know y'all see it like. like yeah you see it you see it so now we're gonna blend it because i don't really like the way it be looking when you first apply it but pure like then we're also going to put some on the nose put it on the nose and then we're gonna take our concealing brush again you know I use this brush for a lot of different things um and we're gonna go in with the marshmallow color and we're just gonna put that color right in the creases of our um eye well I don't even think that's what you call that I don't think it's the called the crease but we're gonna call it the crease today So, after we come in with the white part, we're going to go in with um, NYX, this little eye pencil, and outline my lips. I use an eye pencil for my lips because I just feel like it looks better. I don't think I have my lip gloss. Hold on. 
So we're just gonna outline the lips. At that outline, I just and hey, let me get my lip gloss because it's not in here. So now that I've got my lip gloss, I'm just going in with the um the honey lip gloss. Um, And this is the finished product of how I do my makeup. Um, it came out really good today. I'm actually like excited with how the process looks. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.